Okay, <laughs> what is up? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B-Team. You guys, this is episode 119, and um, I have rebuilt the great NSFY Space Research Initiative. And we're gonna go attempt to go back to the moon today with one big glaring difference, and that is that we actually have our oxygen tanks on our backs today before we launch this rocket. I mean, how dumb was I that last episode I forgot to do that? <gasps> oh man, I could not believe it. Oh, we gotta stop loading fuel. Forgot about that. Stop loading the fuel. Uh, so I have rebuilt, um, and we have a space rocket now full of all of the goodies and supplies that we had last time, plus a few others. And there was a comment on my video last episode from Schism who said that he built some sort of like refuge on the moon. So we're actually gonna kind of look for that today. So, um, what are our controls again? Oh yes, um, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes. So we just gotta do space to launch, so here we go. Yes, it's got the countdown going on again. Oh man, we're fully fueled up. I know that, we're fully fueled up and um, we're gonna make a hopefully a successful landing on the moon. That is today's plan. If we crash, we are in trouble. <laughs> and I don't think we're gonna need a launch, rocket launch pads. I'm hoping we don't need rocket launch pads to get home. If we do, I'm gonna have to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be bad, but <laughs> here's take two, attempt two, and I hated getting all of the ore and everything for this. This was a pain in the butt. I really, really hope I don't mess this one up this time, otherwise I might just lose my mind. Oh, beautiful America. I will miss you. Although it looks like we took off from like Mexico or something. <laughs> I'm not really too sure about that. Uh, but anyways, how awesome was last episode's failure? That like cracked me up. I was editing that and I was laughing super hard. I couldn't believe that that, that actually happened. There's been so many failures too. Like B-dubs took off and then he ran out of fuel and he came crashing back down to earth. Um, I think someone else went and died. It's just been, <laughs> all the whole server has been, has been fail city when it has come to the, uh, <laughs> when it has come to getting to the moon. Okay, so now we're gonna go into this into space. Okay, hold, hold space, slow down. All right, we gotta hold space. Hold space bar. Hold space bar. Hold space bar. Entry velocity 10 meters per second. This should be good, right? This should be good. This is a cool little lunar lander we've got here. Where is the moon? I don't know, but I want to keep holding space. Oh gosh, where are all the stars going? The stars are disappearing. Oh, here it is. Oh. Can I move? Oh, I can move? Okay, oh gosh. Ah! We did it! We did it! We, we, we did it! We did it! Yes! Oh, we so did it! Okay, let's go back to here. Oh, yes! Oh man, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, so this is our little lunar lander thing. I don't know how we get back from here, from, um, uh, what you call it? I don't know how we get back to our spaceship, but this is what we landed in. I think we can get back inside this, right? Probably, oh, no, this is our storage container. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. But, what? Oh, rocket launch pad and our rocket. Oh, excellent, oh ho ho. Yes, so we can get back, we just gotta relaunch, basically. All right, well that's excellent. So today's mission, is exploring the moon. We are going to explore the moon, um, ladies and gentlemen, and I, let's see, that is my oxygen. Oh, ooh, 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 okay, here, we need to be very careful because I have no, I have no oxygen tanks, like, in my inventory, so what I wanna do is come back over here to the big, big explosion town and get some more oxygen tanks, okay? Some more are gonna be stored in there, but this is like emergency backup. Now, if for some reason I run out, or I don't find Schism's base, or I can't get set up, I am basically going, like set up in terms of refining oxygen once again. Uh, I'm basically going to, um, I'm basically gonna just like, what is this? Okay, uh, it's a crater. I'm basically gonna just essentially go back to Earth. Um, and 
just refuel or something. What, are these holes in the ground? What is this? Creepy. So Schism supposedly has a, a base on the moon, but I don't know. Dude, let's look at these jumping. The jumping's here. Wow, look at this. This is awesome. Oh, wait a minute. Like, why do I have four legs? Are you guys seeing this? What the heck? Look, you see my orange legs moving and then my other legs move. What is that? That is so bizarre. But it's pretty cool that you can just kind of like wah bong, wah bong. Now, what is this? Okay. Dude, this is gonna be huge. Like seriously large. Very, very large. So over here, that's where I blew up. We can't forget that. There are caves on the moon. I think I learned that. Um, there are caves and things. Uh, ooh, what's this blue stuff? I found some stuff. Here we go, finally some things. We gotta keep an eye on our oxygen tanks over there. Oh, they're just bluebells? Oh, what? What? Did they grow? No. Oh, come back. <laughs> Whoa. That is cool. Oh, there's earth. What? Oh, this is sick. Okay. All right. Schism, I don't know where your base is, dude. Oh, no. We need like a build a dune buggy or something, right? Can't you build one of those essentially? I guess it's like a drivable car that you can go across the surface of the moon with or something like that. I think you could do that, but you need the schematic for it. In order to get the schematic, you, I think, have to defeat like one of the dungeons or something. Like you gotta go into the moon dungeon, which I have no idea where those even are. I just kind of want to explore the moon. This episode may just be a lot of jumping around, but I'll try and edit it, I guess, and make it a little bit more enjoyable. But like, I am a noob when it comes to this stuff. You guys know that. So if you're expecting a whole lot, don't. <laughs> um, if I find Schism's base, that would be incredible. And I'm hoping it's made out of something other than moon turf, which is what we're running on right now. Oh man, this is like really cool though. Like I've never been to the moon. I I've never done, I've never even done Galacticraft. Like this is my first, my first experience with it. So, okay, good. So it looks like our oxygen actually is gonna last like quite a long time, I'm thinking. Uh, there's supposed to be vi like alien villagers on the moon. I'm almost like 100% positive of that. Almost positive. So if we find one, oh, that would be cool. I don't think that they actually trade though. Okay, so what have we done here? Oh man, if we really get in trouble, Oxygen, we got to make sure we time it that we come back in time. Oh Boy, I wish I had like a speed potion or something But seriously skids like what like where I Have no idea his comment was something like just build a base on the moon to help people who get stranded I got you bro, and I'm like sweet. That's awesome, but Where is it? Where where is it? That's that's the grand question so if we start to, if we go down, right? Like if we, like, oh, this is stone. Oh, I heard a spider. Oh, that could be good. Oh. Does that mean we're gonna like chance upon a dungeon or? I don't know. Anything is possible on the moon. Well, sort of, I don't really know. Uh, a lot of people were saying they wanted me to go to Mars. You can't do that until you get the schematics for like the tier two rocket. I, I figured that out. I know I kept saying moon or Mars or whichever comes first, but I found out that you can't, you can't get to Mars unless you get that rocket. Am I getting closer or farther away? To this snake. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, we found a dungeon. Oh, these are evolved creepers, right? Oh no. We set them on fire. No, what's the, what's the thing for fire? Hold on. Left, up, up, down, down. Oh wait, they all ignore me though. I think. Ah. Oh, I just morphed into that. I don't want, I want bat. I want bat mode on the moon, of course. Oh, these are evolved. Oh, we get the morphs. <laughs> this is amazing. 
I am so like creeped and scared right now. Ooh, wait, is this ore? No. What is this? Cheese? No. That can't be possible. Cheese? Why is there cheese in the moon? What is this? Okay, we got. Oh, this is copper ore, right? Just plain old copper ore from Galacticraft. Right, right. Uh, what? Tin, okay. Oh, so you could like, essentially, I guess, get yourself back if you lost your way. Essentially. Uh, if you had to rebuild and you had the oxygen to do it. But, that would be a pain in the bun buns. Tin. So we've got cheese. Look at him jump it. That's so funny. What the heck? <laughs> no way. That's too cool. Cause of gravity, yo. All right. I don't know. Like that's just still regular gunpowder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what am I gonna do? Like, what do you do on the moon? I I don't understand. I know there's. I know that there is dungeons, right? But if you can't, if you don't fi like find any, like what am I supposed to do? You know oh, I want this morph. Oh, I, I tele teleported. All right, right here. Where is he? Where'd he go? Ah, uh, okay. Where did he go? Oh, he's right here. Ah. Give me this morph. Oh, dang it. I got teleported out because of my hat. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga's hat. We're going to kill this guy. He he keeps sending me away. Oh, you got a lot of health, pal. Oh, oh I got your morph, though. I got it. Okay, let's go back to bat. Let's morph back to a bat. I don't want these bones. I don't really want that at the moment. We're doing, we're doing just fine in oxygen. I completely forgot about my bat morph. This is actually gonna allow me to cover a lot more distance on the moon. Like, way more. And actually, I would like to probably circle back around and head towards the base. I wanna, before this episode's over, I wanna try and see if I can grow a tree on the moon. That is the plan. If I can't, then, okay. Um, we'll have to figure out something else. But I know, like, with the leaves, and if you built a space station out in space, between the moon and Earth. Um, that basically you can harvest the oxygen that way. Oh, there's another bluebell over there. What's this? Oh, baby. We got ourselves a cave. Just real quick, just exploring. Okay, I don't feel like being shot right now. So let's just leave. Okay, where is my wreckage? Right here? Okay, it's over here. I'm glad that it, it like sticks out on the map. It looks very irregular uh, <laughs> in terms of this large explosion. And that's my that's my spot. So here we go. We've got we've got the lunar lander right here. I guess everybody la uh, lands in a different spot. That's probably what happens. So okay, so let's check out. Let's do this. We'll put these back because now we're going to be working closely here. So let's um put the cheese there. Let's, let, I don't know, let's, let's test this out. Let's see if you can actually grow. What is this? Oh, the footsteps. Oh, no way. Oh, that's what those are. I was wondering what this was. These are footsteps, ladies and gentlemen. Holy smokes, that's kind of cool. Oh, I wonder if you can see where people have been. What is this? Reels, what is this? Fallen meteor. <gasps> what? Really? Oh, come on. No way! That's so cool! A raw meteoric iron. Oh, okay. Now that's kind of neat. I'm like, what, you know, what is that thing? Is it a little brown thing? It looks like a head. It was a fallen meteor. That is super cool. I don't know what those are. I don't know what they're used for, but I'm going to investigate that and hopefully figure it out. Um, okay, so, dirt, on, whoops, didn't mean to, didn't mean to do that, alright, let's see here, so let's put, uh, put dirt there, 
I'm gonna plant that. Please work. <gasps> yes! Oh, this is huge news. Oh man, this is pretty cool. Oh, now look, we got a little tree right there. Whoop, whoop. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Oops, hold on, hold on, nope. Where did it go? Come back, okay. Now, we're not done. This is more exciting than just exploring the moon to me, honestly. Like basically making life. Yes! Ooh, baby, all right, so. We're gonna make another one. We're gonna make a little grove of trees. A little slice of home, you know what I mean? Like a little, a little slice of home here on the moon. Um, sort of. Well, kind of, I mean, you gotta work with me here because my biome at home, I have a lot of spruce trees or I've been, like spruce trees have sort of been a, a central part of my operations. Just, I don't know, spruce trees, I, like this whole series have been, I've had spruce trees. And I like spruce trees. So I brought four, grow, there you go. There we go. Now, okay, here's the real question. Here's the real question. This is gonna, this is gonna test me like no other uh, knowledge that I've had before, okay? So we have the oxygen compressor, I think. The basic solar pit, did I forget power? Not power, but like, like power. <laughs> like connector, like, like leadstone energy pipes? Oh, I did. Maybe we can still hook it up. Maybe we can still hook it up, we'll see. So essentially what I wanna do is start like refining oxygen. We may have to take another trip back to the moon. But so these are gonna be our solar panels, right? And they're gonna be enabled. So sun is visible, so they're gonna start collecting uh, electricity. And this compressor right here, wait. Uh, no valid oxygen tank. Uh, oh, we don't have oxygen tanks, that's right. Uh, get me back that, thank you. Um, so I'm wondering, uh, because we're gonna have a bubble distributor, oxygen sealer, refinery, a compressor, a fuel loader, and an ox, oh, oxygen collector. That's right, that's right, that's what we need first. So let's see if we can hook this bad boy up. Let's just, let's just see. So where's the power? Okay, so let's, let's like rotate this. Let's see if that's gonna work. Aha, power, okay. Oh, it's working! Oh, it's working! Look, it's collecting the oxygen because we're near these leaves. Yes! Oh, look, it's collecting the oxygen here. And then, essentially, we're gonna rig this up. We are going to rig it up so that we're gonna have a whole little power station here. We can survive. We're never gonna run out of oxygen here, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, that is, that is freaking cool, you guys. That is really freaking cool. Um, so in order to basically get back to where I need to go, I have to, uh, relaunch my rocket, I think. I don't know. I, like, it's right here, the rocket launch pad and the tier one rocket. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right now for this episode. We have set up the beginnings of a small, small base of operations here. Uh, I have no problems taking multiple trips back and forth from, um, from like space to Earth, I mean, like, like, like that's fun. I, I don't even care. We have a small area here set up on the moon for uh, for living. We will next episode try and maybe make it a safe trip home or something like that. I don't really know. I'm gonna look into more of this stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am very excited to be on the moon right now. Like, this is really, really cool. Um, I miss home, my Earth, my home. My baby, but uh, this is awesome, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Schism and find out where his little base is that he's made, and hopefully we can try and visit that and check that out. And then of course we gotta find and defeat like at least one dungeon um, before the series ends. Uh, so yeah, I'll be working on that, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time. Peace. <laughs> Walter, get out of my face. <laughs> Get inside the house.